Hey guys, it's Brian from SamCart. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to easily track the sales from your order bumps and one-click upsells inside of the Facebook ads platform. If you're a SamCart customer, the first step is to open up the product that's being sold as an upsell or the order bump. In the product settings, you just go to the advanced settings tab and find the input area labeled fire pixels and scripts after an order is completed. This is where you place the code that fires your conversion pixel for Facebook. Before you enter anything into this box, head over to Facebook and set up a custom conversion for this purchase event. Once you create a custom conversion, instead of basing the conversion on the URL the visitor hits, which is the default option, select the purchase event from the dropdown. Then change the rule from URL to event parameters and choose the content underscore name in the second dropdown. And finally, type the name of your product without any spaces. This content underscore name phrase that you enter will be the unique identifier that Facebook will look for in order to fire your conversion event. Next, give your conversion a name and leave the value field blank for now. When you're done, find your main Facebook pixel code that Facebook provides and go back into your SamCart product settings and paste it into the input area labeled fire pixels and strips after an order is completed. The final step is making sure that the Facebook code includes your new unique purchase event with the correct content underscore name field. Near the end of the Facebook code, paste the new section of code that we provide right before the final script tag. After you paste it, replace the generic content underscore name phrase we included with what you entered in your custom conversion. Then replace the value field with the price of your product and change the currency to whatever currency you're selling in. And that's it. This simple approach can be used on any product that you sell, whether it's a front-end product, order bump, or one-click upsell. The beauty of this approach is that you no longer need to base your conversions on the URL that your customer hits after they buy, so you don't need to keep track of all your thank you pages ever again. Anytime this product is sold, no matter how it's sold, the conversion will fire and you'll see which ads are bringing in the most sales. And to make your life even easier, after you have all this set up, go into your ads account and select the dropdown that allows you to change what shows in your reporting dashboard. Then click on the Customize Columns button and search for your new custom conversion from the available metrics. Now you can select any custom conversion and reveal how many conversions there were, the cost of getting that conversion, and the total dollar value driven from that conversion. Now you can have all the data at a glance anytime you log into your Facebook ads account. But just a fair warning, it may take a couple of hours after the first conversion is fired for some of those options to appear, so don't panic if you don't see them right away. This is how we track all of our sales at SamCart and how almost all of our top sellers track their sales as well. If you have any questions, just let us know and we'll be happy to help out however we can. And if you're not currently using SamCart to sell your products, head over to SamCart.com and take it for a test drive and see for yourself why thousands of businesses are making the switch.